after a night under the stars with coyotes howling and big cat noises all night, well, it was great to see the RV again. It was as if nothing had even happened. We found Sean the next morning. No shortcuts today. Hope you slept well. You're going to need your energy. And he was off again. Right, what are you doing? I've got myself an electric motorbike with its motor in the wheel hub. It's got a range of about 50 miles if you treat it sweet. Top speed, oh, about 40 miles an hour. We're in such a bizarre part of the country. It goes from forest into town, into fields, and then into desert within an hour, all while we're looking for the next charge. We've reached Susanville without using any gas, just scrimping on geothermal and a bit of solar from the RV. But our goal is Oregon, 200 miles away, and it ain't looking good, because this place is our last hot rock power spot. Hey! Hey! How you doing? Long way from Sydney, mate. Ah, long way. Got the box? There's a plug. Sean's found another geothermal charge to plug into the scooter. Hey, hey you got pure geothermal. <sighs> Jim's land's hot, but it's great for underground geothermal. How far can you drive on it? Well, it just came about 50 miles. Wow. Water is pumped up from underground wells at these huge temperatures to spin the turbines and give us our power. The problem I've got is that the vehicles I've got charged are only going to get me about 100 miles and I've still got 200 miles to go. How far to Aden? This is where the trip gets tricky. It's about 108 miles. With short range on the vehicles, Sean's got to use all his power wisely. All right, nice to meet you, man. Thanks very much. If he's going to get to his next pit stop. Thanks, fellas. I think you need the windshield on that. What do you think, huh? Yeah, I think he's doing I think you need the windshield on that. Hey. Oh, that's a... heat. It's pretty nasty too. The lightning and the scorching heat combined to set off a wildfire on the highway heading for Oregon. Look at it! It's just cranking through there. The whole Lassen National Forest is on fire. Just been flagged down. And the fire has breached both sides of the highway, reaching heights of sometimes 30, 40 feet, arching over the roadway. So I can't get through? Cannot get through. Sean sure knows what he's doing. He's from Australia. I mean, Australia is like the land of bushfires, so I think he'll be OK. I don't think there's any choice, Teresa. He's got to go through there. I mean, I don't know how much experience Gus has had when it comes to bushfires. So you're suggesting that we just send him through the middle of a bushfire? We don't want him to stop, but we don't want him to die either. Hey guys, yeah, the road's cut off. We've got 100 miles to go tonight. The, I'm in the radio saying this way is closed, so he's got to go up this way. So this way's closed as well. No, no, no. I think so the only thing we can really do then is like backtrack back to Susanville. Backtracking means he's definitely going to run out of charge. He's only got enough power to get to eight. He'll be right, Teresa. He'll be right. After negotiating with the police and on our advice, Sean decided to go through. The guys are all really gung-ho, go for it. He's got to go now because if he doesn't go now, they'll close the road and that's it. I'm just concerned. He, he had very little charge left. So I'm concerned that, yes, they closed the road, but he's caught in the middle of it. Ooh, this is eerie. Hopefully he knows what he's doing. It's scary. He's going anyway, he's gone. After the break, gas versus no gas. The thing is just like a rocket. But can it get Sean to Oregon just on cool fuel? Gentlemen and lady, start your engines.